and it's great to see you guys here. Um, I've asked on Instagram a few days ago if you guys would like to check out some that are in my personal collection. And I got the idea to do some separate videos about some that are very active and special to me. Uh, they're all very special to me, but um, there's some that I would like to elaborate on a little bit more. Um, I don't know, my friend Ashley at Haunted Honies had a spirit doll named Wanda. I don't know if you guys seen that. Some of you may. Um, Wanda immediately caught my attention when she was listed and she also caught my attention when she was relisted because she had come back to Haunted Honies. Um, I was really, really beyond excited to talk to Ashley about her because um, Ashley is a very good friend of mine and I was just taken by Wanda immediately. Um, the person who had her had actually left a review and um, with some of the experiences that he experienced with Wanda. Wanda is a very strong spirit. Um, so I'm not surprised that he experienced this. Um, just read in briefly. Uh, received Wanda to set up everything that I was supposed to do for her. Started cleaning and my books and other supplies are knocked off of the shelf. Some statues fell down. Um, he picked up everything to make sure that there was nothing laying around uh, for her to knock off the shelves. Um, later that night, uh, they were able to smell a sour dead smell and couldn't find where it was coming from. Um, the girlfriend ended up having a nightmare within a nightmare about an old lady who was trying to possess her body. About the doll moving on its own, she's not the type to get scared, so they wanted her gone. Um, and, you know, when some people have experiences like this, they want to do whatever they can to make their life better in a way, which I understand it perfectly. Um, but they just want to, if a child is bothered by a spirit or even an adult is bothered by a spirit, obviously as a guardian or a significant other, we want to do whatever is best. Um, they were able to send this back to her and I was able to adopt her and I was absolutely over the moon to take Wanda in. Um, Wanda has a very unique energy. Um, her original bio was that she was in her 80s and she was pretty rude to Ashley when Ashley would do some work with her. Um, uh, let's see here. Wanda kind of reminds me of my grandmother. Uh, my grandmother was a woman who was very gruff to people. Um, you had to know her to love her kind of thing because if you didn't know her and she didn't like you, she was very off-putting. So that's what drew me to Wanda right away because I grew up with a grandmother like her. Um, she likes to show off in shadows and orbs and make noises around the house. Um, some of the sounds are usually footsteps. She doesn't like being placed to other next to others. Um, they handled her with a towel if they had to move her. Um, I had asked, obviously, she had also asked her if it would be okay with Wanda to take pictures of her or do videos and um, that was good. Um, she loves seeing who comes in and out of the house and that's true because I actually have Wanda in my living room. She is near others but others that are like her. When I first started doing this I adopted Philomez from Haunted Hoonies who is a Philomez is a high voodoo priestess, and um, I just knew the two of them would be fine together. So she sits with her. 
I do believe from my own personal reading and working with Wanda that Wanda was actually a witch and I have a feeling that she probably put spells on some um, using darker witchcraft because she just has that sense of like don't walk on me because I don't let anybody walk all over me kind of uh, vibe to her. Um, I have done some offerings for her um, right underneath her vessel. I have set out two glasses of different flavored wine. Um, we offered her some whiskey as well. Usually with the negatives, um, they like their alcohol. <laughs> I don't know. That doesn't make really a lot. Maybe it does make sense to some people. To me, it does a lot. But um, I was so excited to have her. And tonight, I am going to do a session with her. And we're going to see if she would like to speak to us um, or show off in any way or answer some questions that I have. I don't mind handling her. Excuse me. Um, I don't mind handling her. But I have her in a nice spot now where I don't really want to move her because um, she's sitting there very nicely. She is sitting on a chair, so um, I don't want her to fall or break or anything like that. Wanda has been awesome since she's here. Um, I like to do this little update for Ashley as well if she watches this. Um, most of my adoptions came from Ashley from the beginning and I've always been so so happy with them and her she's just amazing if you haven't checked her out go check her out um, she's just amazing we've been very good friends and I love to adopt from her when I do adopt um, anyway if you come across a spirit like Wanda Say you adopt one that you're not really sure of or maybe you didn't hit it off perfectly don't throw them away um, you can message me on Instagram and I'd be happy to take a look I would be happy to take them in but just please don't ever throw them away because that just insults them even more and um, you know they want to find their space not every spirit enjoys the person who adopted them i'm going to say it that way as i talked about in my positives negatives demons whatnot um sometimes you'll see them but when they get to you maybe they're just not interested maybe they're not interested in um others that live in the home maybe they're just not a good match for you but please never ever throw them away um you can contact me. I know you can contact Haunted Honies if you have an issue with any. Um, we'd be happy to take them in for you. So look forward to in a little bit in the next snap of a finger. We're going to have a video with Wanda. So it'll be very nice to meet her. Thank you and I will see you in a moment. Okay, so just as promised, this is Wanda. I lit some candles and some incense for her. Hello, Wanda for her. Hello, Wanda for her. Hello, Wanda. Da. Da. Would you like to say hi? Can you turn off your light? Something just moved over there. Wanda, do you like it here? If you like it here, can you touch the light or the little light? The only thing... Hello. Hi. The only thing that she requested while doing a video with her is she stayed in her spot. So we're good with that. So you like it here? We love you. Um, most thing that you can think about when working with these kind of spirits is to give them the respect that they deserve. And all the rest will fall into place. Um, 
as I said before, and I'm not a judge of anyone, but um, some people just can't really handle negatives or, um, and it's not that they can't handle them. It's just that sometimes positives work out better for some people. If you have a lot going on in your life, you're probably not going to want to um, adopt a negative spirit right away. Wanda, can you turn on the light if you liked your last home? Oh, thank you. Good job. Um, good job. Um, Did you practice witchcraft? If you were, can you turn on one of the lights or you can make the box beep? Or you could turn off the flashlight. Do you like the wine that we put out for you? We put out for you. We put out for you. Yeah, okay. Can you show us your spirit bubble if you feel you would like to? Or that works too. <laughs> I've even noticed since she's here that her eyes have changed. Um, when I do my readings, I focus a lot on their face because I swear that I have seen the faces change as well. Wanda, can you make that stop for a second? I just love her energy, but in overall, she's doing amazing here. Um, like I said, Philomas is up there, um, but Wanda is doing awesome. Thank you. Wanda, do you like me? If you do, can you turn on the flashlight? I love working with you. I really think she loves that lamp behind her and her little animal on her lap. I think, yeah, don't you? Awesome. Well, I try my best to keep you guys all happy and that's about all I can do. So this is Wanda, everyone. This right here in the middle is Beloved. He came from Haunted Hoonies as well. And we are going to talk to him and get to know him a little bit. Hi, Beloved. How are you today? Is there anything that you would like to say to me? Or you can say to Robert or you want to say to the people out in YouTube, Instagram land. You can speak into my phone if you do. I'm going to go in and talk about you a little. Hello again. Um, as you've seen, we just spoke to Beloved. We're going to speak to him again later tonight. Um, Beloved was posted and a lot of people ask me, how do I pick who I want to adopt? Um, obviously, telepathy is a very interesting thing for me because I am very good at it. Um, and I kind of just hear them and I know that I can work with them. So Beloved was one that really called out to me. Um, and I knew I had to have him. Um, when he was with my friend, he made himself seem like a girl spirit. But when he got to me, he definitely was a boy. Um... 
The leaven originally came from a family who had the doll passed down um, through some generations, I'm guessing. And um, the last person to have it did not want to keep her. Um, let's see here. Um, when she or, or when he arrived at Haunted Honey's, he caused her to have extreme bruising and almost immediately and was the one I knew would need a good home. Um, some people would put her in a case, but I, I will not. I, I don't, you know, I don't believe in it. I have two that are in cases, but they're really not bad at all. Um, they were just in a case from the previous owner of the cellar. Let me think if I said that right. Um, from the previous owner that had them before a seller that I purchased them from. Um, beloved, I just absolutely fell in love with. Um, he likes to be dressed as beloved. Um, she does have a, he does have a demonic um, type of energy, but when I worked with him, um, when I worked with him, he more or less just had a very unspeakable life that I'm not going to speak of about. Um, but, you know, enough negative stuff in your life can almost turn you completely negative or give others the feeling that, hey, I don't want to be bothered. Um, don't bother me. Um, he is also good at using flames to communicate. Um, I was not a, a fan of that one, <laughs> I, um, but I definitely get a lot of EB, EVPs from him because um, I just think he's very happy with us. I think he's happy here. Um, she also had some good luck using mirrors with him, um, black candles. Um, so I am very, very happy working with him. He's been here since, I guess, around Christmas time. And, um, I know he has a very strong attachment to me. Um, he's very protective of me. Uh, as you guys maybe on Instagram seen, um, a few days ago, a literal this let me show you right here this decided to just fall off of my table in the living room um, and that's when we were talking about something particular that I don't really want to go into um, just the conversation between me and my husband and um, beloved just went into protective mode um, there's a person uh, you know, there's a person that he's not very fond of that um, when we talked about, the tape just fell off the table. Um, he's just awesome, though. And tonight I am going to, when things get quiet in the house, I'm going to do a video with him. And we'll see if we can get any answers or see if he wants to communicate some with us. But I am absolutely in love with him and... I think he's going to be a forever here. Some of them that are very negative and come from maybe like a negative keeper, for being negative for one keeper, down to the next keeper, down to the next keeper, and either end up here with me or end up at another cellar. I just feel like that they have been struggling so hard to find their happiness and their peace and you definitely can feel when you adopt a spirit like them that you definitely feel that they're either happy with you and they're going to be with you want to stay here forever some of them a lot of them that i get you know they want to come here they want me to find out their problems or learn about them but then they're ready to move on to the next and you know, in the beginning, that was very hard for me because I'm like, well, I adopted you, you know, I want you to stay. And they're like, well, you know, this is just a stopping ground for them. And I am not in a position to um, 
argue with them. So I've really come down to it. Excuse me. Where um, I've just been able to accept it if they want to move on to the next, then that's perfectly fine with me. So we will be back with a message, hopefully, from Beloved. Hello, everybody. This is Beloved. I put my camera on my tripod here so that I don't have to hold it. Beloved is very strong. And hello. I seen him, as I said, uh, listed for sale. And I absolutely fell in love with him. Um, I have this thing sometimes where if I see somebody that I really like, I go back to um, whoever is selling them and look at the thing, look at the spirit every single day, probably eight, nine, ten times a day, maybe more, depending on how drawn I am to him. So that's always a good reference for you when you're thinking of adopting. If you see one that just gives you that peace of mind and is so drawn to to you and you to it, um, that's where you know you're making an okay decision. Whew, okay, these guys are sucking it out of me today because today I am working. As you guys know, I, hello, I know you've been waiting. Um, I haven't been working all that much since my fall and um, I know that sounds overly dramatic but I did have some other health problems during the time of the fall so I am just trying to kick my butt back into shape and I wanted to introduce you Beloved. Beloved is not for everyone obviously um, but he was for me. Beloved, do you like it here? If you do, can you turn it all the way off? Beloved is very active with EVPs as well. So I'm going to give him the chance to see if he can come right up over here by us. And if he'd like to say anything. Beloved, I'm going to ask you some questions. And you can respond by coming up here and saying what you would like. Um, or you can use your tools that I gave you. Um, so, beloved, do you like it here? I'm going to give a 10 second pause between each question. Just because he does like to talk. So I'm going to do that for him. Beloved, do you like it here? I'm going to take that as a yes because he had some time there. Do you love your new family? Hi. Would you like to come to the tattoo shop with us next time? If you would, can you turn? If you would, can you turn? If you would, can you turn off the light? He usually doesn't like to travel. That's one thing with him. He likes to be in his spot. Um, so that's a probably a no, but we'll see if he says anything. Um, do you like your new friends up there, Aaron and Bruce? If you do, can you turn off your light? Thank you. And I know you want a new outfit. So I have to get him a new outfit. Um, this was his, well, he came to me for Christmas. So this was his Christmas outfit. You think you're all spiffy, huh? Are you a spiffy guy? Beloved, can you say my name, please? Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Beloved, you're very protective of me. Is that true? Do you feel like I'm a mom to you? If it's true, can you turn off your light? I know you really like my son, Robert, because today, while I was in the kitchen, I turned off SpongeBob, and that's how Robert knows it's time to move on to the rest of his day. And when I went in the kitchen, I heard SpongeBob come back on. And when I left the living room, it was on a blank screen. So somebody turned SpongeBob back on for Robert. Was that you, beloved? If it was, can you light your light? Did you turn SpongeBob back on for Robert? Now, did one of the other kids turn SpongeBob back on? If they did, can you light your light? Oh, well, you're not going to give anybody up, are you? Anyway, um, with him, um, with him, um, with him, I just f feel so protected by him. Um, he shared his story with me, which he's not comfortable just sharing with everybody. But I can tell you, he had a really, really, really bad life when he was alive. And um, nobody should go through that. But since he's here, he does know that he is safe. And he is loved. And he is loved. just absolutely excuse me we actually absolutely adore him and i think he reciprocates that love all the time don't you can you make that beep you're good at making it beep but yes i had so many and i have been kind of adopting some out that are very hard for me to adopt out um, just so that I can work with some more spirits like Beloved. Um, yeah, he likes that idea. Um, you know, it's always hard, but I feel like it's my responsibility to help them, you know, achieve whatever they would like to achieve in their spirit life. So, um, it's just kind of my calling Beloved, do you have anything else you would like to say to the, to anybody? I have no idea what that is, but okay. Don't think we're supposed to be expecting any storms. Was that you? If it was you, could you turn off your light? Well, now we got a car going down, huh? But yeah, this is Beloved, and... Like I said, he might not be everybody's cup of tea, and that was right in his description, but he's mine, and um, I just have this certain call to certain spirits, and I take them and try to provide the best environment, best home for them, who, where if they would go to someone else, that he may just have been understood. Yeah, my goodness. They were to go to someone else they may just be un misunderstood so this is beloved and i absolutely adore him um beloved would you like to just say goodbye to everyone if you would can you turn on your light that'll be your goodbye to everyone 
You want to go back up on your shelf with your friends, Bruce and Aaron? Those three boys have it made up there with their little cars and um, Beloved came with a little box of buttons. So he loves just being up there with them and they all like to hang out together, right buddy? So we're gonna let you go now, Beloved. Thank you for talking to everyone. Okay, buddy, good job.